avoiding getting out to the goats this morning. I don't know what my problem is. It's late. Let's get it done. That's not gonna work. Missy was supposed to pour some hot water on there this morning. Apparently she forgot. To be the first in line So when the cookie crumbles The best piece they will find Having a milk bucket with a lid is very helpful. Thank you very much, Paige. I appreciate that generous donation. Um, Pumpkin is doing so much better, you guys. So much better. She's doing awesome. She's eating better. She's giving me more milk. Um, she just, in general, seems stronger. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, I still don't plan to breed her just yet. We're gonna give it some time, if we breed her at all. My theory on the matter is that um, a lot of you know that my goats have CAE um, and moving goats with CAE can be stressful, which flares the CAE. Boy, do I know autoimmune flares. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm guessing that that flared her. She did not do well when we first brought her here. She perked up and she did well. But then a couple months after we got her, we bred her. Pregnancy's hard on a body, as many of you know. And so I think she's just not had enough time to re recuperate from coming to live with us a little over a year ago. So I'm hoping that um, perhaps we can rebreed her in the spring and just see how she does. And maybe we won't, maybe she'll just retire, but we'll just, we'll just see. But for now, I'm really grateful to see her, you know, back up and going. much better too he's up and around more he's more social we've been doing the MSM powder and um, that doggy Advil he's doing really well I'm really pleased I know. I am. It's a five day weekend. Yes, I was glad not to drive carpool this morning. <sighs> what Sam got coming around the corner? Oh my gosh, it's so big! It's hard. Oh, look, it's a different color than where it used to be. Be really careful. Sophie! <laughs> look how sweet! Oh, cute! Let me see in the better light. That's a different color. It's like gray. Oh, it for a second. Oh, sweet baby. Can I, can I, can I, can I, oh, yeah. They grow so fast. Their, yeah. their feet hair is like so like So big, Have yeah. you checked any of the other buckets to see the <laughs> Um, I saw um one bucket. It had a whole bunch of hay. Oh, is there any babies in it? No. So panda might be bred. Um, it looked like Bell's fur. There's Bell's fur in there. A piece of it. I didn't think Belle was bread. I guess we'll, we'll just see. Okay, so investigating. I know that Panda got bread because she's snuck in with the boys. Um, Sam said Belle's hair was in here, but if you look at Panda, she was just over here hanging out with me. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she is. She's, is she right there? Anyway, if you look at Panda, she's got this light color fur underneath with the dark. So Sam thought it was Belle, but I don't think it's Belle at all. 
So, and that chunk right there, and I grab that. Ooh, yeah, this is yeah, I think that panda. it's panda. And, um, whoops. I know panda to be bred. So that's, well, allegedly bred. Last like, time look, she, she only like, gave us no, one baby. Not. So it'll be interesting to see if she gives us more than one. This, this is panda. panda. And she, does she look fat? She yeah, does look, she looks rounded. She does look pudged. So we'll see. Last time, and she's interested in us, in us being here. So that makes me feel better because I didn't think Belle had been bred. Oh yeah, you can see on her bum there's... Yes, you can see underneath there's the, the light colors. This is so, I think that's pandas for sure. So that's, that's good. I guess we just didn't want litters this late in the season, but we're rolling with it. It's the ice caves. So these, these are new clippers to me. I really like the needle nose part of it. Um, we'll see if they're strong enough to use for the goat hooves. Ah, uh, you know, they're not. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're not gonna work. Nope. Darn it. Nope. Yep, yeah, we'll use them for other things, but Happy Hydro, not a good clipper for goats. Darn it. We will find other uses for them, though. So we'll go back to these. I would like, you know, I think a more needle nose would be easier, but um, these are more durable and a little bit stronger so she's getting upset Nancy so hopefully we can hurry and get it done I am NOT an expert at this but I'm, I'm getting there getting there it's important with CAE goats to keep their nails trimmed keep their hooves trimmed so it's only been about a month they actually look pretty good in my opinion but it's always easier to trim when they're not crazy long. So this is not a how-to. There are plenty of those out there. I think Rose from Wholesome Roots has a good one. But I'm falling over. One down, <laughs> three more to go. This is the one time that I a milking stand I feel would be a good idea. So we've got some smoke billowing from down the down the way. I hope everybody's okay. Maybe I'll text my neighbor. Oh, that's further behind than her house. So anyway, so I wonder if Apple's acting a little bit more lovey. I'm wondering if she is bred. We put her in with Durango, what's probably been a couple of weeks ago. So in the next week, we're gonna look for her to come back into heat. But um, I'm wondering if we, if she got bred the first day. We'll just see. Uh, yeah, she. We're inside the shack and keeping Pumpkin kicked out because apple. she, Apple, because she is dominant and Missy's failing at her job. She's dominant and I don't need her head button me while I'm trying to do Pumpkin. <sighs> Hers. Two down. Got to get the babies done. We don't have goat collars for them yet. I need to remedy that. Um, we're going to borrow Sophie's collar and uh, see if we can get the babies done. Oh, it's not hard, it's, it's, but it is hard. Like it's, it's taxing on my muscles. Um, it wears me out. Hey, I have a goat that's not excited that I caught her. She's never been on collar before. None of them, yeah. neither of them. Mama's not happy with me. So, the bee's like, I'm gonna fling my head around. Let's. Hey, All right, Thank girls, you. I need help. I got a rat in my hand. Okay. It actually looks like one. Well, let's see. I need her, I need, I need her this way. Well, this is going much better than expected. Yeah? Yes. We should check her udder while we've got her too. We need to work smarter. Oh, there we go, Emma. <laughs> Where are you 
I did because Leia. Come on, she gets Leia. Okay. We have to catch her. We have to hold her by the head to get Okay. I wonder. She does. She has milk. Uh oh. Yeah. Is she pregnant? No. I think she has a what's called a um, precocious udder. So. She does. See, this teat is small and this one is very big. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. We need to do some research. Oh, yeah, there's milk coming out. Is there? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's really full. Why would there be milk? I know. That's weird. That's weird. Look at that. Yeah, yeah there's. Small. There's, I just can't really get a hold of it very well. Is it small? Because it's a tiny peak. Weird. I'm milking a baby goat. You have no idea why that would happen? No, I asked Julie from Dirt Patch a while ago. I said she's got an udder. Um, and she said that she could have precocious udder. And I was like, I don't know what that means. So we got some research to do. Mm hmm. That's a lot of milk. Yeah, that's a steady stream. What's wrong with Let's not drink it. <laughs> Mom's milking uh, clover. Clover. What? Yeah. She's got milk. You can milk her at her age? No. Well, she shouldn't have milk. She has not ever been pregnant. So, for some reason, she, her body's telling her she needs to make milk. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if she's in pain or anything. Well, it was pretty big. Like, it was pretty tight. So. Well, is this going to make her make more? I don't know. I need to. I wanted to milk it out. I'll leave it. I'll leave it there. But we got to. got some research. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so, I contacted Julie about the. about the udder because. She's the owner of the mamas, the previous owner, and she knows the genetics. So I wondered, I noticed that she had a developed udder, and I wondered if that was a genetic thing or if there was a problem. So I guess that'll yet to be learned um, if it's a problem. Obviously, it's probably not good. Maybe that's why she's thinner, too. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. She's always been thinner. Yeah. She was born thin, so. But like more of her nutrients could be going to the milk instead of Yeah, that's growing. true. Could be part of it. Well, you mad? Yeah, she's doing much better than Leia did. She's like standing still for the most part. Um, the chickens pooped on the block that's in here and that's to prevent any drownings. drownings. And then she filled up the water, and so now there's chicken poo all over it. Can you help? Please help me? Okay, I need well, let Missy fix it. If she she's did gonna it. fill it up. I'm just gonna... What, Miss? Watch out! Ew. That needs to be cleaned up anyway. Well, that looks better. Yeah. That's not that looks better. How's it going? Good. I don't think I'll get more than just that backside. That's okay. That's okay. That'll be great. Oh, 
see if this fits. This will be, this is the frame. That's the general idea. So cool. Um, and I just don't know what we'll do in the middle of it. So that one will go right there. And then when I cut, when I cut the tops of these off, it should close. This is the coolest workbench. <laughs> uh, well, not really. It works. <laughs> Improvising the homesteader's way. <laughs> Sometimes it's a pain. Yeah. Okay, so I did use the right one. I don't know if this is the homesteader way. It's what we're doing. <laughs> I don't really care. Well, time and weather will tell if I broke our little submergible heater by not leaving it submerged because I didn't think about it. <laughs> so, uh, I think you're fine. Uh, we'll, we'll, not worried about it. we'll let it go and we'll get a new one if we need to. But uh, it's been a really great day. We'd like to thank you for coming along today with us here on this crazy adventure that we like to call homesteading. Give us that thumbs up. <laughs> or down if that's your thing. Right. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I appreciate him. He's awesome.